Howdy, this is uh, Sergei Drachev, a Landstar uh, Inway uh, flatbed truck driver. And one thing I like about uh, you know being an owner operator is how many skills you have to employ. It's not just driving, it's not just working with maps and gadgets, but it's one of the most important skills is uh, using numbers, right? And uh, uh, the um, the basic example is uh, when you have to fish out your calculator is uh, when you get one of these you know like an official form and when you have something you know highlighted in yellow uh, it's never good so what is this is uh, I got a ticket I'm crossing into uh, and just as an introduction if you think your your week sucks you know watch this video so basically I'm crossing from Canada uh, into New York US via Alexandria Bay and this DOT guy, he just, he doesn't even sit on the road or, you know, somewhere like in an ambush like, you know, they're supposed to. He's right there with the customs. And I hand in my paperwork to the customs officer and the guy behind his back says, uh, can I please see your logbook and registration and your driver's license? And I'm like, what the heck? And I give him my, and then I look at his uniform and it says state trooper. Uh-huh. So now it's all clear, right? So I give him my documents and then he says, well, you're done. Just pull over there. Uh, behind the building so he does a full level two inspection on me cannot find anything then he uh, jumps on my uh, on the step of the truck and he says turn the key on and he looks at my dashboard and I turn the key on and he says do not start the engine and he says oh ABS light not working and I'm like what, what do you mean not working uh, I know it's not working because my ABS works right I know my ABS light uh, is not on so everything seems to be fine and he says he gives me but like a you know 10 minute lecture saying that uh, uh, it should stay on for three seconds that's like the way the system diagnose, diagnoses itself right so if it's not on it's a violation and he writes down this you know uh, clause in the federal uh, regulations and actually I, I found it right there it's uh, specifically says that your dashboard ABS light uh, must must be working must be able to test itself uh, otherwise it's a, viola it's, it's a violation so anyway so I go to TA truck stop and you see that's the ticket itself right so you have to fax all this to your company which naturally makes them happy so I go to TA truck stop my first stop was I you know I'm a good citizen you know I'm willing to abide by the rules when they're reasonable so the guy uh, does diagnostics and uh, this is a Wapco uh, Meritor ABS uh, uh, thing and he finds that one or both of the SAE J1939 data link wires are not connected well you know the guy is good what do you say the only problem is that he cannot fix this since uh, he doesn't have the part right so but he does give me a uh, invoice for 100 bucks because of course you know once your truck is in the shop you want to fix something else and specifically my uh, I have a couple of extra lights on the on the bumper they were not working so I had them fix that so that's hundred bucks right then I was in Virginia and I had a couple of days uh, respite between two loads so I go I find uh, an international dealer uh, Goodman truck and tractor international beautiful beautiful business cards so I go there and the guy does a full uh, diagnostics and finds no ground to light da -da 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 -da. So anyway he's telling me that it's not just wiring problem or or not working light on the dashboard I need a whole new ECU I didn't even know that uh, ABS system systems uh, use their own ECU like a little computer and it's he just showed it to me it's like you know the size of it looks like this it's probably like four square inches and it's it, this thick and this guy says uh, you would need a new ECU and I say how much it costs he says uh, 970 bucks and then we do, uh, I asked them to replace my cable in the door and we walk around the, the truck and three of my um, shocks are rusted out. So naturally we had to replace them. So, well, I was quite happy as I was leaving the uh, Goodman truck and tractor because my bill was only $973.27, right? But my ABS light is still not working, right? So we're not done yet. So then I took a trip to uh, New Brunswick and again I'm sitting here for two days my pickup is only on Monday near near Ottawa Ontario so I figured hey why not go to the good guys at uh, East Coast International in the uh, glorious town of uh, Moncton New Brunswick and see what they can do well 
they do a full diagnostics and again I asked them you know just make sure that it's not something simple you know because maybe the other two guys made a mistake well no such luck it's of course since this is Canada and it's northern Canada you know New Brunswick like you can see the the North Pole from here when the weather is good so anyway so now that part that I need is not uh, $977 uh, it's $1044 and of course then you need labor right there's diagnostics there's labor so um, finally they managed uh, to fix this at uh, shop number three for only sixteen hundred and twenty three dollars so if, you, if you've been <laughs> keeping track of how much money I spent uh, it's unbelievable like ABS system but the all the funniest part is that the actual ABS system I even has a le I even have a letter somewhere here uh, the guy from Goodman gave me a letter he says in case you are stopped by another DOT officer yeah he gave me a letter like this with the official signature saying that ABS light will work with test switch but will not work with the ABS ECU check all wiring to ECU and light and uh, da -da -da, found that ECU is bad but basically what he's trying to say is that ABS system is working like the actual the whole fire was about the ABS system right but my ABS system works the only stupid thing that didn't work was the light and that cost me over two thousand dollars so I'm really uh, I was really happy to use my skills as a bookkeeper to sum up all these receipts and that's why I like being uh, an owner operator so much and I'm really happy that our New York DOT keeps such a careful and close close eye at the uh, safety of our equipment because we really don't want to you know hurt anyone on the road when we're driving right and especially with some something serious as a, as a, as an ABS light on your dashboard so keep up the good work and keep watching I'm gonna continue this uh, these uh, video rants about uh, tracking issues in the future take care this was uh, Sergey Drachev from Moncton New Brunswick Northern Polar Canada